everyone in the last class two topics were explained one is house bank and another one cash journal so in this video i will be sharing the cash journal part with you so for this in the step one please note it down go to spro then scp reference img the same financial accounting bank accounting and then go to bank accounts no just don't go to bank accounts go to this business transaction and cash journal so here these are the configuration we need to do in order to post a cash journal so cash journal is basically all the transactions in a company in cash form whether it is uh, receiving payment from a customer or paying to vendor or petty expenses like miscellaneous like stationery so all these are covered under cash journal so first go to this create gl account for cash journal first we need to create one gl account you can create from here or just go to fs00 okay so change your company code create one petty expense account it's a balance sheet trade is like an cash account part of assets petty cash account control data select the okay. select your local currency associated with your company code and uh, field status group and please check mark this box post automatically only it is important in this part and then just save it it's done now let's move to the next step uh, it is define amount li limit here you have to right now you need not to do anything in this part but uh, in, in real time you have to define the amount the maximum amount which can be used for cash journal it can be 51k so then, then the third step is define document types uh, just like we have defined for other it is already defined in the SAP so if you want you can create from here but for journal entry we have a b so we will be using this i am using this account this document type next define number ranges okay just type your company code over, over here go to this intervals and zero one from this to this I have taken the same number as in this document type. Let me show you. A B uh, number in zero one. So I have taken the same number. enter and save it change the it go back now in the next step you have to set up your cash journal so just go to this and cash journal is basically suppose uh, in a company we have uh, two or three different departments and each department uh, is maintaining their own petty cash book so to so to differentiate there uh, we need to have we need to create different cash journal for maintaining different cash uh, petty cash book account uh, as per the departments okay so create new or maybe copy the standard one and make necessary changes 1710 copy and uh, 
mention the company here mention four digit characters which you want for cash journal so and cj one and select your gl account which we have created petty cash account and in the cash journal when you do not want to use this cash journal anymore so just check mark this box my currency is useful and in this box change it to ab to journal entry petty cash for national enter an entry already exist with the same key so i have already done this configuration let me show you this here it is okay company code this this is my cash journal number gl account and you you only have to just say enter and save it this will be done so next step is maintain business transactions so generally we have uh, five or six transactions for cash journal so we define it in advance okay so i'm just copying it and will make the changes select all this and copy change the company code these are the accounts check see it is for receipt from bank account b for payment to bank account that means uh, uh, cash deposited into bank so bank incoming payment r for revenue expense d and k vendor posting okay and just select the respective gl account e is for e is for expenses so i am i am going to leave this column blank because we don't know what kind of uh, uh, petty cash i will be having so just leave this column blank and sell and and select this part later when you actually post the cash journal okay and this one c c is for receipt from bank account that is we are receiving from the bank bank outgoing payment so just select gl for it because it is fixed bank outgoing payment okay and these for bank incoming i suppose yeah to so select here your bank incoming payment account and uh, yeah under this the first one cash expense please mark this box and yeah enter so you will enter and then just save it from here i have already done this part that is why this error is occurring okay go back let me show you i have already done this part so these are the configuration required to post a cash journal now in the next step what you have to do uh, come on the easy access sap access screen uh, go to this accounting financial gl document entry fbcj cash journal posting and from here change your company code and mention the cash journal it is already selected in my case and so these are cash payment cash receipts and check receipts
so first let's let's take example uh, so let's just take uh, one example uh, in the cash payment so go to this and select office supplies okay mention the amount let's say 4k enter okay you have to here you have to specify the gl account uh, you remember uh, we left the column blank uh, in this part so because we don't know which expense we have uh, we will be incurring and which gl to select because for every transactions we have different gl telephone electricity likewise so select gl let's say it is stationary expense okay and uh, yeah now enter uh, this entry has been stored now just select this and post it from here field text is required text is a uh, stationary purchased enter again select this and post so now it is green mark red mark that means it is stored when you will save it it will turn into yellow mark uh, and when you will post this entry it will turn into green mark so it is for 4000 and these are the expenses that is cash payment my opening balance was 11k because i have done few transactions earlier so that is why it was showing 11k and now i have made a payment for rupees 4000 it has been reduced so my closing balance is 7k now just uh, let's take one example for cash receipts mm. say we are receiving from the customer select this customer uh, I don't know which customer is pending I am receiving 50k from that customer and now here you have to select the customer account number I am receiving from was it this and now just enter entry store select this ok I need to mention the text payment received from customer now post this entry ok so I have received 50k so now the closing balance is showing 7 plus 50 that is uh, 50 ok it is 5 lakh 7 thousand sorry my mistake so now this balance will be carried forward to the next year i have received a payment from one uh, from the customer so like this you can maintain cash journal and one more thing here uh, you can go and check in the line item display the amount for which you have received and there is uh, one point to be noted uh, when you will receive the payment through cash journal suppose there is a customer and uh, amount is 2000 and you have received payment through the cash journal so the item will remain the open item even after receiving the payment in the line item display uh, you can check this post one uh, just post an invoice and receive the amount through the cash journal and then go and check in the line item display it will remain show you the show you as an open item it will not be uh, convert into green or cleared item so this was about the cash journal. Thank you.